What's up guys, we're back out at the beach today, targeting some surf perch. I know I said that in my last video when we got that monster striper, kind of by accident, but today is for real, we're actually going for surf perch. So, I got this Lucky Craft flashman on, I made one little adjustment on it, I don't know if you guys can tell already what it is, but uh, I'll tell you at the end, it's basically brand new right out of the box with one little change. So we're going to see if it works out here in the surf, and uh, we got a pretty good pretty good conditions today we're here at about 8 a.m. I think high tides around 11 a.m. something like that so we're working up towards the high really low swell overcast guys should be a good day we'll see if the fish are around and if they're biting so we're gonna get straight to casting let's get out there all right first cast these conditions look really good there should be some fish here. That bird almost just caught my lure, but he missed, so we're in. All right, there we go. Finally, our first fish. Finally got one in there. That's a nice perch right there. Right in the trough. There we go. It's a pretty good perch. All right guys, been here about 30 minutes or so. And there's our first surf perch there. A nice little, probably about 14, 13 or 14 incher on the Lucky Craft, ouch. Make sure he doesn't hook me here on that lucky craft and uh, yeah we're gonna keep casting like I said really good conditions today so hopeful that this is not our only fish there's another one jumped right there right after the cast. I think this is my second cast after the last one. We finally found a little productive little area here. I think it might be a little bit smaller than the last one but still quality quality surf perch. Oh yeah that's a pretty good one. Probably about the same size as the last one. Maybe a tad a tad bit smaller. All right, you can tell these fish are both still fresh. They're both still kicking. This is the first one that I caught. This is the one that I just caught. Probably about two casts apart from each other. Pretty close, but I did want to show you one thing. So on this first one, you can see this fin here. It's a little different from this second one that we caught. And that's because this is a female and this one is a male. So the males have this little opaque fin right here it's almost kind of rubbery and uh, that's how you can tell the females apart from the males otherwise pretty much the same pattern uh, if you if you can tell see that this fin on top is a little bit bigger on the males but that's a little harder to tell the main thing is this little fin on the bottom this is the easiest way to tell females just straight across, all uniform, all the way down. But the males have this little rubbery fin right here. And that's how you can tell the difference. So for those of you who are new to the channel or just new to this lure, I've used it in plenty of videos. Caught a huge striper actually recently, and I've caught many big perch on it. And basically, all you do with it, really simple. Cast it out as far as you can. And then just bring it in slow and steady, just fast enough so you can feel the action on the lure. And yeah, basically what it'll do is it kind of filters out all the small perch. Obviously this lure is a little bit too big for their mouths. So you kind of filter out all the small perch and then you also have a chance to catch striper. You're definitely not gonna catch as many with this lure but the ones that you catch are gonna be quality. 
All right, guys, had to make some emergency repairs here. So this last, or not the last guide, but the second last guide just broke off. So I had to just cut it out. Now we're gonna go without it for now. Hopefully this isn't too abrasive. It doesn't, doesn't wear down my line, but should be okay. We're just basically one guide short. Another one. There we go. Number three. Number three, not too bad. All right, I think this one's got a little bit more weight to it. This feels like it's a little bit bigger. Taking a little bit of drag. Going sideways. You know they're big when they go sideways in the wave like that. And I just got a feeling this one's gonna be a little bit more weight to it. Maybe it's not a perch. This may or may not be a striper. Yeah, that's a striper. No wonder it's heavier. I think it's a keeper. We'll see. There we go. Bring the wave. It's a pretty good one. Not too bad. Obviously not as big as our 22 pounder last time, but still keeper striper here. No, it's probably like 24. All right, we got perch and striper now, putting this lure to the test. What? What's that? There's one. Oh, perch, perch. Look at that, next cast. Another surf perch. Not a bad one. It's like automatic right now. Another one. There we go. Feels a little bit heavier. Sometimes these are just hooked weird too. They just feel heavier than they actually are. Yeah, this one just looks funny. Still a nice fish. That's num number five. Alright guys, so as you can see, definitely still works in the surf even with this little change that I did. And the only thing that I really changed here is uh, I just swapped out those stock hooks and the stock split rings and switched them up for a little bit stronger split rings, a little bit stronger hooks. And as you saw with that striper in the video, no bending out like we did on our last one. It wasn't a 22 pounder, so I'd like to test it on a bigger one, but looking good so far. So. I'll just show you a quick comparison. So this right here, this is the old lure. And you can see those hooks here, definitely bent out. And this one is the new one with the little bit stronger split rings and a little bit stronger hooks. Let's see if we can get, get them both in there. 
All right guys, just a quick little change there. It's not gonna triple your catch uh, numbers or anything like that, but it will prevent that big one from coming off and straighten out those hooks. So if you haven't seen the last video where this lure got absolutely destroyed, I recommend checking it out. I'll leave it linked in the description below. But other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.